So, are expensive products worth it? I did a Bantu knot on my hair and I bought the high-end living proof line and I also bought the medium kind of like not super inexpensive, not super expensive, but medium priced Miel Organic line and I used them both to do a Bantu knot to see is it worth it? to spend all that money on high-end products or can you get the same or better results using low-end to medium-end products? So let's see. This is my Bantu knot with a Living Proof No Frizz and a Living Proof Restore line. And this is a Bantu knot featuring Miel Organics. Okay, so this is my Bantu Knot featuring Miel Organics. I used the pomegranate and honey line. I used the Miel Organics Twisting Souffle, and I also used the Miel Organics Leave-In Conditioner. So I started with the Leave-In Conditioner, and then I applied the Twisting Souffle, and I also sealed it in with an oil. I used my Black Jamaican Castor Oil. I sealed in the two products with that, and then I did Bantu Knots. Now, as you can see with this particular Bantu Knots, my hair is more moisturized, and it's actually fuller, and there's a little less frizz. I tend to always have a bit of frizz with my Bantu knots just because of the density of my hair but compared to my Bantu knot with the Living Proof line which was actually a no frizz line you can see I have more volume and I have less frizz so <laughs> I used products that are half the cost of that line and I essentially achieved better results so sometimes when you're looking at high-end products you're actually just buying a name and supporting, you know, organic lines, black owned lines, smaller lines could sometimes be more beneficial. Sometimes the ingredients are a little more natural and they just work with your hair better and they're specifically made for your hair because when these lines are being created, they're being created with the black woman in mind, with natural hair in mind, with curly hair in mind, with coily hair in mind, with kinky hair in mind. Whereas most higher end products are being created with finer, straighter, thinner, textured hair in mind, not the black woman. So I do believe in supporting lines that support you and I'm by no means only you know using lines by black owned businesses but I will say the majority of my money is spent with lines that are black owned because they work for my hair and I'm gonna buy products that work well for my hair and I am enticed a lot of times to buy higher end products or more expensive products just because you think the more expensive the more the better the quality the better results I'm gonna get for my hair but sometimes um, just with the genetics of your hair and the way your hair is, that's not the case. And for me, that definitely was not the case with the Living Proof line. I used the No Frizz and I used the Restorative line and they both kind of were <laughs> counteractive in my opinion. I ended up with a lot of frizz, my hair was extremely dry and my ends became really really brittle to the point where I just had to cut them and I ended up losing a lot of my length and I'm still trying to bring my hair back to a more healthy state. I do think I will have to end up doing another trim within the next coming months. I am going to try to just keep nursing my hair along and get it back to the healthiest I possibly can before I do that cut. But um, in terms of the Miel Organics Pomegranate and Honey line, it smells amazing. The Twisting Souffle is really thick and creamy, and the leave-in gel is a nice thinner consistency, which my low porosity hair really likes. I need something kind of thinner to absorb into my strands, and then the thicker products usually I can use to help coat my strands, and then the oil I use to seal that in. So I did really enjoy this line. As you can see, my hair is full, it has volume, it's not stiff or brittle or dry, and I got both of these products from Sally's. They were about 12 dollars 
and I feel like it was money well spent. And also, I didn't use a lot of it. Um, in terms of the leave-in, I probably still have this much left. And then in terms of the twisting souffle, as you can see, I pretty much have a full container left because my hair is low porosity, so I can't cake on products. I do have to be mindful of how much I'm using and be light-handed. I can't be heavy-handed with products. In terms of how much I used, I feel like I didn't have to use a lot to get good results. But when I used my Living Proof products, some of like the leave-ins were almost empty because like my hair just was not taking it and I felt like I was using more so I did really kind of go through some of those products and in the end it didn't provide me with moisture shine or anything that it claimed it would so I felt like I was wasting money because I had bought really expensive products I was using a lot of it and then I wasn't getting any good results from the uses so it just was really counteractive in the big picture but yeah I just want to tell you you don't have to spend a lot to get a lot find products that work for you that work for your hair that your hair likes and products that will feed it what it needs whether it be five dollars if you find that your hair likes $50 products, hey, you've got some expensive hair. But if it works for your hair, I'm happy for you. I just want everyone to be able to use products that they love and their hair loves and just feel comfortable and happy with like the things that they're using. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you. I hope you learned something new. But I would love it if you like this video, leave me a comment, share this video, and as always, subscribe. I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya. Lead them from temptation, make them royalty. All the things we face and make us question it. Lead us to salvation, pour that oil, please. That's how we become kings and queens.